morning and hi to your friends and family. It's your girl Janina Love and I wanted to do a little get ready with me, not too much of a get ready with me, just I've seen a lot of these little tags on YouTube and I thought it was cute if I did is roll the dice. Roll the dice to make my shadow. I've got my base on, I have my primer brush on, I'm using Urban Decay's anti-aging. my fluffy brush a couple times. Okay. Put it right in the crease. How's everybody doing today? Happy Thursday. Throwback Thursday. I'm going to post a few throwback pictures of my son and I to show some wow. I found that, you know, found through my uh, archives because Google does this wonderful thing where it brings back up your pictures months later. And I find that so helpful when I lose a picture, especially when I change a phone. I hate that. My last phone that I lost had a lot of my pictures from my uh, tour of seeing the Drag Race contestants in Queens at uh, some of our local clubs here in California. I don't know why this eye gives me so much problems where it'll look more like the color doesn't move once it's on there. But my right eye always blends out so beautifully. Alright, let's go for the next color. Boop! Three. And number three, conveniently, is an orange. <laughs> so I don't have to look too crazy. And we will just go over the crease with that too. Or go actually above it to clean it up. Oh, yeah. Make a slight sunrise effect. That'll work. Now it's getting down to the wire. What color is going to happen next? Is it going to be one that I can't? Well, basically everything in this palette can be used uh, to make all the looks, huh? Okay. That turned out pretty good, right? Blended out the top of the uh, orange. Here we go. And leap. Jump out. Four. And number four is the glitter. Lord Jesus, it's the glitter glam. I guess that's going to be my lid today. Let's go in with a flat. Just this eyeshadow brush from Face One Cosmetics. Hmm. I was hoping it would go into one of the brown shades, but you know, 
That's the roll of the dice. But I'm bum. I've just been hesitant with glitters these last few days. I would try to glitter from a palette that would not come off my eyes and my face. It was just everywhere for days. Like two, three days later, I could still see glitter on me. And I was taking pictures of my granddaughter, and so the fallout was terrible and got on her too. And so I was like, I'm not going to wear too many more glitters anymore because that just would harm my baby, my grandbaby. Boop, boop, boop. I want to make sure you can see. So I'm kind of, you dab, I have to press it on and then slide. And these are pretty good. These don't have fallout. As you see, I didn't put anything under my eyes, which is like, whoa, whoa. How did you do that without forgetting? But I just noticed it. It's okay. But there is actually no fallout. Or, nope, no fallout. So I'm gonna just tap and drag to build that up. Make it seamless. And then, gotta look in the mirror, the camera, and my hand mirror to make sure it's even enough. Okay. Next roll of the dice. Number two. Lord Jesus. Number two, and that is that bright yellow in, in the palette. So I'm going to use the same flat brush I was using before. I'm going to use my little cleaner thingy. And I'll put this in the inner corner. Why not? It'll look like a great sunset. That's what they're giving me. It's my turquoise top. Mm -hmm. Sunset. I was told... Back in the Jizé, when I was doing makeup with, when I first got started with um, MAC makeup, that I shouldn't match my makeup with my, um, my clothes. I was like, are you crazy? But now I see it, where you don't need to do that at all. How does that look? I think that's nice. And now for the lower lash line. Please be something you can use. I've got four of them that drop. And it has two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Goodness. Let's do it again. I'm not going to use all four of them. Just one. Okay. And that one is number six. Let's see here. Number six is the golden hour. And that was perfect. Thank you to the number gods. But that is a, another shimmer glitter. And I'm going to put that in my lower lash line. Not all the way, just enough. Because I actually feel like I'm going to poke myself in the eye. There we go. That's good. That works out perfectly. That's enough for the eyeshadow. Roll with the dice. Nail. I want to go clean everything up and put some liner on and there, so forth and so forth, you know. So I'm going to take my brush, my uh, Sigma Kabuki brush, dab it into a little of this Ciate London um, powder and into my LA Girl brightener. I'm going to mix them together, tap them together and sweep under my eyes and highlight everything by 
just making sure there is no fallout because you know I can't see the glitter really until I get in the sun because the bathroom light the house lights I don't have a camera light you know basic house lamps aren't doing any of these colors their justice Okay, and then we're going to our handy dandy Ulta palette and mix my two favorite blushes. Drag it up. I have a hard job today. I'm all alone as far as a host. Um, someone who's going to guide people in and take their name down. That's just a little too much blush on my nose. Um, but I can rock it. I can rock it. With the proper makeup, get you through the days. That's why I'm like, mm, got to make sure it's on point. Then we're going to mix my Favorite two, the top and the bottom one. This came in one of their little, um, with purchase gifts, like you spend $35 and get this for $20, I think it was. But my favorite cousin in the world, next to being like my mother, my mentor, she bought some of her basic needs and was able to get this, uh, the box. And I told her the way I do most, which all of us can do most gifts is, even though it was a pretty box and you want all the makeup that's in it, um, it's nice to share. So we kind of broke up the box and gave everybody a little bit of makeup and I got the blush and I really like it. So I did my cupid's bow pretty um, big and loud today. Because I'm going to do a nude lip. I want to do a very nude lip. And I'm going to use my Huda Beauty uh, liner that we got in a Ipsy Trophy Wipe. And I'm going to line my lips with that. And then fill it in because I don't necessarily apply lip stick or gloss through the day. I kind of um, just do my Bite Beauty Agava on top of something like this so that it just, to me, I like it through the day. Just one. And it just, they don't wear off as quickly as you think. And I'm going to use my Bite Beauty crayon. I can't see the name, but it's a really pretty nude. See? And I'm going to use that as my lip complete, I guess. I'll complete my lip with that. I'm going over the edges of the liner to smooth it out. And then I'm going to fill it in just a little bit before spreading it. Making it all smooth. Grab a little Kleenex to wipe my finger off. And what is left for us? Nothing better than sex. Liner from Too Faced. I got this the first day it came out as the um, the lady wanted to show it off and you know how they, they try to use products, uh, the same product on us during a demo and I wasn't down for that but you can see how it it's very fine and you can make thin and you can make thicker and so I had her open a new one to use on me 
and her manager was like, is she going to pay for it? Is she going to do this? Is she going to do that? I'm there for a demo. I cherish my eyes and I didn't want to have styes or some kind of random disease from sharing from other people's eyes, no shade. But if you're going to do it on me and I'm willing to do it for her to show a whole crowd of people, yeah, I wanted a new one. So at the end of it, the demo, I was gifted it. And I thought that was really nice of her because she didn't like the way her supervisor was coming at me. And I'm just going to do a very thin line on top. And I'm not going to do a cat eye. I'm just going to line the top because I don't know how to do a, cat eye, a proper cat eye. I try. But then it, to me, you know, I have that um, I can't stop syndrome. Can't stop yourself from keep going thicker and thicker and thicker. It's kind of what's going on here. This one's a little thicker than this side. Mm -hmm. But not too bad. There we go. And I like to just lay it on my lashes and kind of glide along. Because it's that's all I'm going to get a nice clean line. Now I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetic Lash Extension. I love this mascara. And I'm going to just twirl it across the top and pull the lash to coat the top. And then I'm going to wiggle underneath. I wiggled so that my hairs can get in the comb and the comb can brush it so it doesn't get all too clumpy, making my lashes glue together, but it also gives me some lash so you can see the difference. No mascara with mascara. It's still kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see it in, uh, in person. You see that dab in my nose with the mascara wand. Should have wiped it off before it got this far over. Okay. Now when it comes to mistakes like this, I was told, not told, but like I watched a few demos and they said to let it dry completely and then just kind of dab, dab, dab it with a Q-tip and then get it off. But we're very impatient people. So I'm going to take some toilet paper and we're going to dab, dab, dab it now. Try to go over it a couple of dab times and bump it out. Okay, I'm going to put a little of that Solarte London on it. Just to make sure I don't lose all my color. And then use my foundation brush to buff it out. And that's about it. I'm ready to go take care of business at the church. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please like and subscribe. And from the bottom of my heart, spread some love. Tell them it's from Jovina Love. Bye.